Today we salute you, Mr. Budweiser Head of Marketing Guy. Only you could take a beer and make it queer. Oh, no. 20 years of amazing ad campaigns, and this is where we end up. Not gonna buy it. What the f*** were you thinking? What is going on? I'm already wired here because we're having a terrific fantastic Tuesday. And yes, it's another day that ends in Y. So I am back to talk about the absolute decimation and destruction that is the Anheuser-Busch brand going with this Bud Light boycott. The most successful conservative boycott to push back against this woke ideology, trans nonsense has been shoved down all of our throats. And they're pulling out all the stops here, guys. They are trying to do everything within their power to save their dying brand. And we knew that they were going to spend about triple the marketing value, as they said, in the summer months to try to get back customers. And hey, I'm sure they might get back a few people, but I don't think it's gonna work for most people. I don't think most people care about that sort of thing. I think a lot of people, there's a negative stigma around it. They're not gonna come back. They do not want this ish. But in that vein, since it's almost Father's Day, they are now trying to push a new ad to try to get people back in the American pastime of baseball. Budweiser brings in Ken Griffey Jr. as brand looks to dig out of Bud Light Hole. Well, they better have a whole lot of shovels because they are so deep right now. They are probably at the core. Anheuser Bush and Budweiser are bringing in the big guns as they try to dig out of their current Bud Light Hole. Ahead of Father's Day, the beer chain released its newest commercial on YouTube Monday afternoon, featuring a pair of sluggers who go by Ken Griffey Jr. and Sr. Ever heard of them? Um, Yes, I have. I don't live in a hole like uh, Anheuser Bush does, so I, I have heard of them. Yes. Okay. The 30 second ad features both father and son as they sit on the couch with some bud, the beer, not the weed. Mm, that would probably actually be a better, uh, better use of a sponsorship, in all honesty, if they got, you know, they're advertising bud and not Bud Light, but I digress. As highlights from both careers play throughout. It's the first video Budweiser has posted on its official YouTube page since April's disastrous shared spirit commercial that came in the wake of the Bud Light Lord Voldemort disaster, which of course they are still feeling the impact from. And they're doing everything to try to pander, to try to erase the past two months, to try to get people to ignore just how terrible their decision-making was. But in all honesty, and no offense to uh, Ken Griffey Jr. or Ken Griffey Sr., I don't think it's gonna work. I think they can spend as much marketing revenue as much capital as they want to trying to ramp up their marketing strategy i don't think it's going to matter for most people i know i'm not going to drink any more bud light not that i was a huge bud drinker to begin with but well, like i said i was at a wedding a couple of weeks ago i know they were serving bud light didn't see anybody drinking it budweiser either for that matter there's a negative stigma around it now nobody wants to be associated with it because they understand the ramifications of it. Budweiser feeling the Bud Light impact. Look, it's a fine commercial. Frankly, I don't have a problem with it, which it is. I could play it for you, but I can't because of copyright things. But yeah, it's a fine commercial. And again, nothing against the uh, Griffey Jr. or Griffey Sr. Uh, anytime I can catch some vintage Ken Griffey Jr. highlights on my TV, I won't complain. But with anything related to Bud Light or Anheuser-Busch nowadays, it's obviously going to get broken down like the Zep... Is that Bruder, is a Bruder film? I'm not sure what that is. That's just the way it goes when you're in so deep that literally nobody is buying your beer anymore. And right on cue, the comments are brutal. Props to Budweiser for leaving them open, though. Credit where credit is due. Yeah, well, at least they're open to criticism. Uh, uh, my father identifies as my mother, so he gets Father's Day and Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to the Griffies. Still going woke. Not even the iconic Griffies can save this woke product. You really trying to smooth this over, aren't you? I'll never drink Bud again. It's not a boycott. It's an official divorce. Never drinking this product or anything owned by this company again. Eh, and honestly, if those are the most brutal comments, they're pretty tame. It, that's just people stating their preferences, their opinions. People saying, listen, we see what you're trying to do. We're not idiots. We're not going to be fooled by this. And that's capitalism, baby. Obviously, there are more, but I don't feel like cutting and pasting forever. That's, that's totally fine. It's been just an awful two months for Bud Light and Anheuser Bush, and it's clear at this point all the AB products are feeling the impact. Sales are down across the board, AB stock is a plunging by the minute, and Bud Light and Budweiser, frankly, were left largely untouched over the Memorial Day weekend. So much so that they are trying to buy back the beer. 
because it's just sitting on the distributor shelves. At least they're taking some accountability, even if just in a small way. But that's not going to get consumers back into buying your product. While this is the first official ad posted to Budweiser's account in months, it's not the first commercial. Late last month, the beer giant teamed up with Harley Davidson to launch a special can ahead of Memorial Day. And again, how did that work out for you? Did you actually get any more consumers back? Any more people buying your beer? No, because people aren't stupid. People who ride motorcycles are not going to be like, oh, wow, they have a motorcycle in the commercial. It's like, how dumb do you think people are? People liked your commercials because you had a clear marketing strategy at one point, and you had very iconic things, Real Men of Genius, the Budweiser Frogs. I remember that stuff when I was a kid. I mean, that's been gone probably at least 15 years. But now you just think people are dumb. And you should, you know, you, you deserve your failure. Well, this is the, um, not so shockingly, the little outreach effort didn't go over great with the masses either. All that being said, this is still a fine ad. I get it. And it's cool to see the Griffies together on a couch with cool highlights overlaying the entire thing. Hey, and I'm sure if they would have done this two months ago before this entire Voldemort controversy, probably would have went over fine. People probably would have liked it. Maybe it would have increased their sales a little bit. All that being said, it's still a fine ad. I get it. It's cool to see the Griffies. It just may be a while until Budweiser, Bud Light, and Anheuser-Busch product can release something to the world without getting torched for pandering. But hey, at least this was better than the chicken fried commercial, which I would say 100% it is. And you know, there's always going to be people that are still roasting it. We're going to go into this article real quick. I don't want to make this super, super long here. Um, Bud Light sales plunged by 23.9% as brand risk losing number one status. Bud Light steep sales drops are showing signs of bottoming out, but the struggling beer brand is still on track to losing its number one status in the U.S. Following its disastrous marketing tie-up with Dylan Mulvaney, sales of Bud Light plunged 23.9% for the week ended May 27th, slightly better than the 25.7% drop a week earlier. Well, that, that's huge. Let's, let's all give them a round of applause here. I'm very impressed. I guess that is something, but it was also Memorial Day. Oh. Drop for Anheuser Bush's other brands, including Bud Light, Michelob Ultra, Bud Light, and Natural. Yeah, we, we, uh, we know all this already. It's still bottoming out. They're in like their seventh straight f- week of, of free falling. Their stock is in the toilet. They've lost. I've heard about like, what did this say up here? I think it's even more than that. I've actually seen in some places it's about 30% they've lost. They probably will lose their number one spot if it keeps going like this in the summer because this is when a lot of people drink beer. Especially, you know, I guess up in the northern states and stuff like that because, you know, hey, it's finally nice up here. I just don't know what your pandering is going to possibly do for you. I don't think you're going to get out of this by, you know, putting the Griffies up there or anything like that. They're going to have to ride out this storm for quite a while. And again, huge shout out to everybody out there who was a Bud drinker who has decided I'm not putting up with this woke identity politics being inserted to every brand I buy. And you push back and you realize, hey, it's not really that hard to change brands. Drink Yingling. It's actually a far superior beer in my humble opinion. But anyway, that's all I got. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It definitely helps out the algorithm. Thank you for listening this long, and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.